Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about day five of the hearings. And uh, the committee, I mean, they brought the goods when it came to Trump's pressure campaign to get the Department of Justice to intervene and echo his baseless claims. Um, centered primarily on a meeting that occurred in the Oval Office in December 2020. Trump was contemplating firing the acting attorney general, according to all of the testimony. And that testimony suggests that he wanted to install Jeffrey Clark as the new acting attorney general. So Clark could then use the power of federal law enforcement to help persuade states to play ball and to assist in the overturning of the election, for lack of a better word. Um, provide cover for Trump's claims. Say, yeah, yeah, that's true. Basically, announce the investigation. Very similar to the Zelensky thing, right? The perfect phone call. Okay, so this was going on, and basically he was told that a whole bunch of high-profile people would resign if the Department of Justice was used in this manner. And it appears that he backed off of it. We heard a little bit about a, a theory um, involving Italian satellites. Not a thing. Um... And we also heard about how, how there might have been a push to have federal law enforcement seize voting machines. Again, as a method of providing cover, backing up the claims that didn't have any actual evidence. So you create the drama, and then it seems as though the claims are true. That, that appears to be the move. Um, the testimony that was provided, pretty convincing. Um, I think that Trump and crew are going to have a hard time overcoming this. The committee is laying out a, a case. <laughs> I mean, they're laying out what could be an indictment. At this point, that is definitely their plan. Uh, they're sticking to the template and doing it well. Day five <laughs> occurred with the backdrop of Jeffrey Clark, mentioned earlier, uh, ha having his home searched by the feds uh, related to the apparent attempts. Uh, there were also subpoenas and searches conducted all over the place related to the fake elector scheme. On top of this, Governor Kemp will be providing testimony to Georgia's probe into Trump's activities in attempting to influence the election there. Uh, overall, we, we're starting to see law enforcement activity pick up. It, it's gaining momentum. Much... And it's beyond the committee. The, this isn't the committee doing this. This is federal law enforcement. For a long time, we've seen the committee's actions. We've gotten little leaks from them. We haven't heard anything from DOJ. Now, a lot of their activities are becoming very public. And it certainly appears that the Department of Justice is, is very interested in the fake electors side of things um, and that they seem to be pursuing that avenue pretty aggressively so we'll probably hear a lot more about that in the coming days and weeks and then we have to wait and find out what georgia's probe uncovers it, it certainly appears that with the way this is shaping up throughout the, the run-up to the midterms there's going to be a lot of events that might alter the outcome 
uh, of elections. Um, as people find out more and more information about their chosen candidate. There was also a list about uh, who requested a pardon, and that video will be coming out a little bit later. So that's just a brief overview, and remember to fit all of this in to what has already been demonstrated, the evidence that they, they've presented before. As far as Trump being aware that the claims were false, Trump being aware that the activities would violate federal law, and now they're demonstrating a pressure campaign against the Department of Justice. So, anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.